beam ABC is loaded at B with a force FB and it's held in place by two cables, one that goes from A to D and one that goes from A to E. I want to know what the moments are at O due to the t force FB and the tensions in each of the cables. I want to start by figuring out where these points are in space. A is going to be at 6, 0, 0 because the beam goes out into the X axis. B is a little bit not quite far that far out, 400. Zero, zero. C is at 300. Zero, zero. D is at 0, minus 2, and 3. And E is at 0, 4, and 0. So out my length of the beam, I have FA, which goes from A to D. I have FB, which is just in the negative K direction. It's given as such. And I have FC, which is going to go from C to E. And these are 2 meters, 1 meters, and 3 meters apart out from point O. That's what I want. I want to know what each of those moments are. The easiest one to do, of course, is the moment due to FB. I can use that using scalar methods and say this is just going to be my 40 kilonewtons out by my 4 meters, which is 160 kilonewton meters. And I know that that has to be spinning about the positive J axis. Now I need to figure out what my other forces are so that I can figure out what their moments are. I'm going to do that with a position vector unit vector multiply. A goes from A to D. So if you take D and subtract A, you get minus 6I minus 2J plus 3K. To make it a unit vector, I'm going to divide by its magnitude. So take this... 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared square root is the square root of 49, which is lovely, and 7. Then I have to multiply by my magnitude. I'm not given a magnitude, so I'm just going to call it FA. So my vector FA is that. And if I simplify that out, I have minus 6 sevenths FA in the I direction, minus 2 sevenths FA in the J direction, and 3 sevenths FA in the K direction. Same thing with FC. My position vector from C to E, take this Cartesian point E and subtract C, is minus 3i plus 4j. 3, 4, 5 right triangle, this is going to be 3 fifths and 4 fifths. I have to remember to multiply by my magnitude of my unknown vector. So Fc is minus 3 fifths Fc in the i direction, plus 4 fifths Fc in the j direction. I also still have my Fb force from above. So I can go ahead and list that with the others. I have 40K. Now I want to find out what the moments are at O due to each of these. I already figured out what the moment at O was due to FB. That's 160 kilonewton meters in the J direction. But to find out what the moments are due to FA and FC, I need to actually figure out what, there are, what the R's are. The R goes from O to the point of application of each force. So to go from O to A is just 6I. From O to C is just 3I. And if I want to do this using vector methods, I can say at the moment at O due to the force FA is the cross product I, J, K. R goes on top, 6, O, O. F goes on the bottom, negative 6 sevenths FA, minus 2 sevenths FA, and 3 sevenths FA gives me... The moment due to A is minus 18 sevenths FA in the J direction, minus 12 sevenths FA in the K direction. The moment at C is RC cross FC. The moment at O due to C, excuse me, which is the cross product IJK, R goes on top, 3, O, O, minus 3 fifths FC, minus 4 fifths FC, O, so the moment at O due to C is 12 fifths FC in the K direction. Total moment due to these three forces is adding them up. MOB plus MOC plus MOA. Add them all up. I have minus 18 sevenths FA plus 160J plus 12 times minus 1. So I just checked took the 12 out, FA plus 1 fifth FC in the K direction. I don't 
have a moment in the x direction. That's the total moment at O.